Hi everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Now in this video, I wanted to focus on the topic of narcissistic mothers and the guilt that you feel as a child of such a mother. Now somebody who has narcissistic personality disorder is very, very skilled at manipulating others. And a mother that has this has a lifetime of grooming, and manipulating and controlling her children to mold them into exactly what she needs her children to be. The feeling of guilt is something that is extremely common for a child of a narcissistic mother. A narcissistic mother will use guilt as a weapon in order to keep her children responding to her wishes and her wishes alone. This guilt is used in many different scenarios, but it is one of the primary weapons that a personality disordered mother will use alongside other control tactics and manipulation tactics. When an individual first realizes that their mother may have MPD, the first emotion that comes with that is relief. Relief because finally, the child realizes that it was never them that was the problem. It was never them that were the crazy one in this relationship, but it was actually the mother. But the emotion that quickly follows the relief is the feeling of guilt because the child is so groomed into thinking and feeling like they are the one to blame, that how dare they think about their mother in such a way and of course society also burdens you with this feeling of I have to honor thy mother and thy father no matter what. So for you to think about your mother as being personality disordered, how dare you do that? So this feeling also makes you feel incredibly guilty and then of course the mother will deny that she's unwell, will deny that she has MPD. She will deny every time you confront her with um, something that she has done to hurt you. She will always turn it around if you tell her that she is gaslighting you. She will always find a way to blame you or somebody else when you confront her about her bad behavior. So no matter what you do, you will always be to blame. You will always feel guilty because your narcissistic mother has um, created a feeling of fear and entrapment and self-loathing since you were a child. And you will find it hard to truly be yourself without these feelings. You will find it really hard not feeling guilty. You will find it really hard not criticizing yourself because you have always had your mother there to guide you into self-loathing and self-criticism and self-sabotage. You have that voice internalized because this is the mother that you had. You are going to struggle most of your life with feelings of guilt, but you don't have to listen to that feeling of guilt. You just have to remind yourself that this feeling of guilt has been projected onto you, has been used as a weapon to control you, and you don't have to feel guilty about nothing at all. Your mother will tell you that it's your imagination, that you're crazy, that how could you possibly think that she was a bad mother, that how could you possibly think that she was hurting you. She will make it out to be that you are the one, the problem. But the more you surround yourself with healthy individuals, the more you surround yourself with other people that also have similar experiences, similar mothers to yours. And trust me, there are a lot of people out there who have been where you've been and you just haven't met them yet. Now, like I said before, when you first discover that your mother has MPD, you will have two voices in your head, your own and your mother's. Now, your own voice will be telling you, I knew she was mentally disordered. I knew there was something wrong. It all makes perfect sense. All her behaviors, all her nastiness, all her criticism is finally making sense because now I have a name for it. And the other voice in your head is telling you, Oh my God, stop being such a jerk. How can you possibly think about your mother in such a way? You've only got one mother. You have to keep trying with her. You can't give up on your relationship with her. And you make all of these excuses because you feel guilty for daring to doubt your mother's love for you. 
And of course, you also have the fear of when you confront your mother about this, that there will be some very serious payback um, for daring to think this way, for daring to uh, put up boundaries or confronting your mother. And in general, with any narcissistic individual, there is an acronym known as FOG, which stands for fear, obligation and guilt. And these are the things that you need to be aware of when you are dealing with a narcissistic mother. You have had a lifetime of abuse. You have had a lifetime of grooming. You will always have these feelings of fearing your mother's reaction, of feeling obligated towards your mother, and of feeling guilty because you aren't doing what your mother wants you to do in the way that she wants you to do it. But you have to keep telling yourself that your mother has MPD. Your mother is not a healthy individual. And that when you're in this relationship, you aren't thinking clearly because you are completely overwhelmed by these emotions of fear, obligation and guilt. But it's so, so important that you begin the process of discovering and nurturing yourself back into the wholeness that you were born with before your mother tore you down, before your mother tried to change you and mold you into what she wanted you to be, an extension of herself, a compliant child that always met her needs. You are not that person. You have to try and help yourself get back to that place of wholeness and authenticity. You are the one that you need to start listening to, not your mother. So trust that inner gut feeling of what feels right for you and use that to keep moving forward. That is the end of the video today, everyone. Thank you so much for listening and for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And if you would like to share your experience, as always, then please feel free to leave a comment below the video. Take care, everyone, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.